One timers here, Matt and Justin. Let's talk about the other semifinal. Argentina taking on the Netherlands. Both teams uh, had kind of a, a very tough road to get here, but both have found a way to win. Um, let's start first with the Dutch. Uh, kind of a little bit of a controversy to get past Mexico and then sent to penalties against Costa Rica but got the job done there. That's what got them to the semifinals. Argentina, on the other hand, uh, a late, 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 late goal by Di Maria to put them through against Switzerland and uh, then an early goal against Belgium and they held off the talented uh, youngsters to get to this point. What do you like about this matchup? It's... Uh I don't like it. it's uh, gonna be good. I, I think one thing I want to point out is you have to bad, you have to bad your Mexico. If, if uh, the game ten minutes shorter, you have to go against one of your co- friends in Concacaf to play in the semifinals. So they they got to be mad at their chances there. But anyway, um, another one that at times has clicked really well. Uh, they kind of have a big three, um, not to be outdone by Miami Heat, <laughs> but uh, Schneider. And uh, and Percy and Robin, when they're when they when they have the ball in contract, it's pretty dangerous. And then they got a couple of young guys. Uh, a couple young, oh, I'm, I'm playing on Will, William. That's his name. Uh, for the Netherlands. They got David the Hayward. Uh, they have a couple of midfielders who I see. I'm a big Netherlands fan. I don't even know their name. <laughs> they do good when they do a lot of great uh, passing and work, and they kind of get the ball up to Robin and get to Van Percy. And uh, they they do well to finish. Uh, they they, uh, they they probably should have won in regulation or overtime against Costa Rica. That's a really good chance that couldn't quite finish. And Argentina really hasn't looked that good to me. I, I remember uh, I, I kind of tried to predict it. I thought Switzerland might be Argentina, and I yeah. I was close. I had a couple of good chances. Uh, and then the Belgium Argentina game was one of those one zero games where Argentina got their goal. It's kind of a lucky goal after the fight the guy had a nice volley, but uh, it wasn't a great chance they finished it. But um, Argentina really hasn't clicked at all in any of their games. I mean, they barely beat Iran, they barely beat Bosnia and Herzegovina, and they barely beat Nigeria. It's kind of been a lot of hero ball by Messi. And the thing that really worries me about them is if I had the second best player on offense, for me, for them, then Di Maria, and last report I saw it said that he would not be only playing in the semifinals. So, he's kind of got a big three going against Messi, let alone, I mean, Messi is probably the best player in the world, maybe other than Ronaldo. But if you're going to have a big one, I'd go like Messi be up there. So, let's see. I don't know who's going to have to help out Messi if Argentina wants to have a chance. Yeah, I'm interested to see this matchup too. Um, to me, these last two games, uh, obviously before before you got hurt, but that Switzerland game, Di Maria played much better than Messi. Um, he was the one that got the goal. Sure, Messi gave him the pass, but still, you got to finish it from out there. Um, I thought Di Maria was more of a of of the the number one player for um, Argentina until he got hurt, but. But yeah, it's been a lot of uh, riding behind Messi, hoping for the best for Argentina. I agree with you; they have not looked very good. Um, but at the same time, I, as you know, back way back in when we first did our predictions, I predicted Belgium to beat Argentina. And the thing that kind of aggravates me from you know my picks is the fact that Argentina's back line actually played fantastic that game against Belgium, which kind of upset me because the entire group stage they played like crap, and now they finally. You know, got together in the one match that I had picked against them. Uh, but if they can play very disciplined, play very well like they did against Belgium, I think that that's going to create some problems for um, the Netherlands. The thing that cracks me up about the Netherlands is that the three teams they, they barely escaped, Australia, Mexico, and Costa Rica, are all teams that you would think they should have handled very well. And the two teams that they did the best against, Spain beat 5-1 and Chile beat 2-0, you know, they, they easily did work against them despite those being the better teams on paper um the the thing with the dutch is um i it's they you know they've gotten their goals when they need to um wesley snyder's i mean there's nothing anyone can do to stop that that was just you know a fantastic goal by him on the on the rebound um but then they you know they couldn't get a goal against costa rica had to worry about penalties um it's just they they're interesting too. Neither team I felt has really played that well coming into this game through the quarterfinals, um, the the round of sixteen and the quarterfinals. Neither team has played very well. 
Um, so, you know, it's it's. I'm I'm interested to see what's going to happen here because the the Dutch, uh, you know, they've the Dutch. The one thing we'll say about the Dutch, they have made some brilliant tactical moves. Um, you know, they had Huntelaar come on and then take the penalty uh, against Mexico. They had Tim Krul come on to just do the penalty shootout. And and you oh, save two of them, yeah. And, and I you know the Dutch have very well, in a, in a strategic standpoint, have done fantastic. Probably the most uh, by you know if you're going off just coaching, I think that the uh, Van Gaal has been coaching the best. Um, he makes the right moves when he needs to. He does all that. Um, but I'm interested because you know I've seen Messi's hungry to try and get. Uh, get that World Cup, and especially this is the closest he's going to get <laughs> right here, you know, in a neighboring country in Brazil on the same continent. Um, it's it's just interesting to me because there's a lot of star power on both sides. Uh, Messi's played better, but the good news for them is is that their back line played much better, and um, Higuain finally kind of arrived to the party. Um, but obviously, you know, with, with Robin uh, Van Persie and Schneider, anything can really go for the Dutch. I know, when, they, uh, when I watch closely in the Argentina Belgium game, it's crazy to me how many guys Messi commands for being five six. I remember there's a couple times they're in the corner and they're surrounded by three like six three Belgian giants, and I I, I don't know how he doesn't turn the ball over. He somehow passes it to a guy. Yeah. So he makes he seems to make the right decisions a little more than Ronaldo. Sometimes Ronaldo tries to dribble two guys at once. Um, so Messi's a little more conservative there in his part. But uh, I'm still worried about this game. I feel like Neville sometimes is a little undisciplined. Um, and with, that whole, with, their whole, with the whole total football strategy, um, they have a lot of runs made from the back, from the back and all across the field. So I think they have to be worried about making sure that someone stays on Messi because someone not only has to stay on him, but once he gets the ball, there needs to be two people near him. So they have to be careful with that. Um, Another thing I, I think I'm, it's interesting to point out, uh, Netherlands seems to have gone, they're, the, they're not, I mean, Netherlands was great result, but the way, um, the way they've been playing has kind of been going as nice crisp. And they play it looks so good against, uh, Spain. I know it kind of spelled out of control, but, um, Argentina seems to be find, finding, find themselves a little bit, especially defensively. So, um, that kind of worries me if I'm a Netherlands fan. Um, that being said, I think Netherlands being healthy definitely helps them. They got Robinson, been one of the more dynamic players in the tournament. He kind of, once he gets the ball on a counterattack, he goes at players. And people play, sometimes forget how fast he is, even though he's a little older sometimes. Um, so, that being healthy and having all the star players available and ready, I think. I, th- I think Netherlands finds a way. I think Netherlands win. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I think it's gonna be another game. I think it's a one zero game again. Okay, I I think I'll, I'll agree with you on one to zero, but I think I might flip the script and I think I might take Argentina here and actually have what your original final was between Brazil and Argentina. Um, especially because I think if it, if it's those two, that's gonna probably the, be the best final. Um, just because, you know, you got another two South American teams in the final there, which doesn't really bode well for Brazil. But um, I think that I'm going to just say I think Argentina gets the job done. For me, the Dutch, all that attack they have, it just hasn't got the job done. Um, Van Persie has yet to score in a in a, um, a knockout stage game. Um, Wesley Snyder, other than the one goal he had against Mexico, hasn't really done a whole lot. Robin, I will say, has... Um, he was very productive in that Costa Rica game, creating problems, creating chances. Um, but kind of other than that, they just haven't really, at least to me, they haven't, I mean, neither team has really looked that great, but Argentina, I think, coming into this, for how many like holes they had in the back line where they just like were undisciplined, I think they've looked a lot better in the back line. Um, I think they should do much better. Um, it will be interesting because Belgium, you could really tell, uh, in that game against Argentina, started to look like a team of individuals rather than a team. Um, dudes were just trying to take take it, the ball themselves and were really, really looking for passes and whatnot. Um, 
But then again, at the same time, the Dutch sometimes get like that in frantic situations where uh, one of the big three um, kind of just tries to, to take it all on their own um, and, and take it in. Um, so I think that I think that I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go with Argentina. And, and as you said, you going with the Dutch then? I think so. I, let's all keep that. You know, get you know two penalties or one zero of these lame games. I want to see. I want to see a four two game or a five five game, something like that. Yeah, I, I I agree with you. Even you know a five five game going to penalties, that's that's fine as well. Um, I do want to point this out. I said this after we had what three? Do we have three games go to? There's Brazil and Chile went to penalties. Um, Costa Rica and Greece went to penalties, and I think there's there was one more that went to penalties, wasn't there? Or was I just? Another one, Costa Rica went to penalties. Yeah, well, I mean, the round of 16. Well, maybe it's just those two in the round of 16. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that might be right. Those two in the round of 16. Um, but I said that after this, after the round of 16, I did say that I don't think, uh, as far as I can remember, I don't think any team that's won a penalty shootout that has went to a penalty shootout in the next game has ever won. And it just happened to Costa Rica. You know, they won the penalty shootout versus Greece, but then lost the penalty shootout versus the Dutch. So, I don't know if that's a, a, some sort of curse or what, but, you know, be wary if the Dutch get a penalty shootout with Argentina. <laughs> their, their chances aren't supposed to bode well, but, you know, that's all, you know, stuff for the statisticians and, and whatnot to, to ponder. But, you know, I, I think, I'm hoping these games, I really do hope these games actually end up being like a, a 4-2 or a 3-2 or something crazy. Just, you know, get the goal scoring back. We've had a lot of kind of, not to say dull games, but a lot of low scoring games after we had a, a wild group stage with all sorts of goals. So, uh, it'll be, I think it's going to be two really good uh, semifinals. Isn't that one of the uh, I know that we've already in Rio de Janeiro. Yep, Absolutely.